Hi, this is Yamini, your bridal designer consultant from TBG Bridal Store. Today, I'll walk you through a few heavy work blouses that will go well for each wedding occasion. Ceremonies like Sangeet, Murtam, Reception and Cocktail Party will be included in this video. So let's see them one by one. Uh, so first, let's look into the Sangeet ceremony. As the glam quotient of the Indian wedding grows, Sangeet has gained its focal point in the pre-wedding celebration. So here I have a green velvet blouse with a lot of pearl and zardosi work. So every embroidery blouse has its own theme. Uh, here the theme revolves around uh, the bride and the roots of the family who get together for the wedding celebration. The flower design here implies the bride, the leaf and the stem implies the roots of the family. So the design motif flows through the entire back and front of the blouse and also through the elbow sleeve. One important point to note is that heavy embroidery work blouses should have an elbow length sleeve because only that will emphasize the intricate designs. And uh, since it's a heavy work blouse, we have given a very simple neckline with zardosi work. You can pair this blouse with uh, long lehenga skirts and the complementary colors would be pastel shades like uh, pink and cream. To top it all, you can wear flower type of jewelry as you see in the Bahabali song which is quite famous these days to match the outfit. Uh, so next comes our reception ceremony. Uh, it is a sort of welcoming the guests as a couple. It's more of an evening function, so you can choose bright and jazzy ones. So here I have this uh, silk blouse with a very heavy embroidered work on it. Um, the theme uh, revolves around uh, red carpet welcome, which has got a lot of uh, decorative abstract motifs, uh, peacock motif, flower motif and a lot of uh, bead hangings. The material used here is uh, bright stones, kundan stones, uh, zardosi uh, and a lot of bead hangings and um, golden beads. Uh, it also has a very minute, minute detailed work done on the blouse. Uh, it's basically a magam work uh, where the material is stretched between the cards and the embroidery is handcrafted. A simple magam work would take around two to three days to complete, whereas a design like this will take more than 10 days to complete. Uh, so this artistic work runs uh, through the entire uh, back of the blouse and we've given a very simple design in the front neckline. Uh, so this will uh, go very well with sari. So when you choose a sari, choose a simple one which does not have a very big motive designs. And you can also uh, wear it along with the, uh, with the lehenga, but then uh, you know the front should be covered with the same artistic work. Uh, the colors that would complement uh, would be dark, uh, dark pink, green and even pastel shades. Uh, finally, to top it all, you can wear uh, kundan uh, sets that will go very well with the outfit. Next comes Muhurtam, the auspicious time. Muhurtam itself dictates the start of the Indian wedding ceremony. What starts well, ends well. So that's the belief we have in general. So here I have a pastel shade silk blouse with a very heavy embroidery uh, work done on it. The theme of the blouse revolves around the parrot in the cage which implies that the bride is stepping out of a mom's place to start a new life. Uh, it's, it's more of a 3D design which gives an embossed effect. Most of the brides these days prefer this kind of a design. The materials used here are bright red stones, uh, kundan and a lot of uh, pearls and uh, gold bead chains. The designer motive runs through the entire uh, front and uh, back of the blouse and also through the elbow sleeve so and hence we have given this uh, classy touch to the necklines with golden chain uh, beadwork. Uh, this blouse will go very well with uh, traditional kanchi patisari. Complementary colors would be dark red, maroon, green and yellow. Uh, when you say muhirtam people do prefer uh, golden jewelry since we have given an antique touch to this uh, embroidery work. Uh, antique uh, temple or nagas jewelry will go very well with this outfit. Last but not least is the cocktail party. It's a platform to socialize and party hard. When I say party, the color that pops up in mind is black. So here I have a black velvet blouse with a lot of intricate design done on it. The theme of the blouse revolves around cluster of happy hearts, uh, which implies that the couple gets to have a gala time with their friends and family. Uh, the materials used here are shining crystals and an intricate zardosi work. This designer motif runs through the entire front and back of the blouse and also through the elbow sleeve. And we have given a very simple neckline to this, uh, uh, to this blouse. You can pair this blouse with a long black skirt or a black sari that is georgette, chiffon or a crepe. To make it all the more glamour, go bare neck and wear a very heavy, long, dazzling earrings. Hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Comment below your favourite design and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button below for regular updates.
Thank you.